And welcome back to the Joseph Joseph. I'm your host, if with the most, if Joseph. And guys, let me tell you, we got we got a jam packed April 11th episode of the Joseph today. We're we're closing in on the Ides of April, aka Tax Day. Oh, yeah, that's cool. yeah. And and what a better way to spend almost Tax Day than with a couple of great guys. We got the host of Motor City Mirth. Andrew Walker is here, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Thank you for having me, Joseph. Yeah, thank you for being here. Yes, it's always fun time. And guys, we had a last minute dropout, uh, but luckily this dropout was able to <laughs> fill the spot. <laughs> guys, it's one of the hosts of the P-Boys podcast. Riley Walker is here. You know me, you love me. Yeah, Michigan husband. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> one of my good friends goes to Michigan and he's like, and you guys are gay not like. homophobic, but yeah. like almost like scared of like you so know he's homophobic. so uh, like what would you call that that is home that is the I definition think he doesn't homophobic. hate them he's just almost like intimidated by them yeah but phobia is a fear okay so he's, i bought it because he went to michigan and i wear it every time we hang out and i'm like yeah i'm his husband yeah and he hates it <laughs> yeah you're a great friend look at that great uh, yeah. very you we got a this is our gay pride episode <laughs> <laughs> our michigan gay pride yeah, episode michigan hey pride. we could, we could have, it's almost june that's it's almost June. Then I am about a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's spring. <laughs> it's eclipse day. Yes. Uh, no, it, it was, was three eclipse days ago. Eclipse day on Monday. Yeah. It's Thursday. It's today's Thursday. April I said 11th. I said in the in the beginning it's April 11th. <laughs> okay, I get yeah. it. <laughs> Guys, did you hear about this? <laughs> Country music star Morgan Wallen was arrested in Nashville for throwing a chair off of a rooftop bar. Chair off a rooftop bar. That, that's the name of his newest single, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he also said the N-word six times yeah. when, when that happened. I wouldn't be surprised if he was yelling it while he threw it off the roof. Oh, yeah, he was yeah, trying absolutely. to hit a black guy with the yeah. chair. That's yeah, the, the three cops that he almost hit were all blacks. So. Yeah, it yeah. was a hate crime. <laughs> it was probably a hate crime. Yeah. Oh, he was man. playing the spoons game except with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, know what that is? I do. Okay. Andrew, do you know what that is? I... I is it a race related game? Yeah, sort of. I know I know like the game spoons. This is like the different, different version of spoons. Okay, we can we yeah. can talk about that off, uh, off camera. Yeah. I've never uh, played. I've played. Last night we let the bar stool talk. That's one of his songs is last okay. night. Last, last night, night we let, we the, let bar the chair fly. Fly, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Guys, this Monday was the this last Monday was the first solar eclipse in seven years. Isn't that wild? You know, every time we have one of these, I always wish that they would report the blind toll, like how they did for COVID. <laughs> 16 people in Oakland County yeah. <laughs> had their eyes burned out. Numbers are rising. People are looking at the sun. <laughs> Permanently damaging their retinas. Yeah. We've got to flatten the curve. <laughs> remember, remember when our wonderful former president looked straight up at the, at oh, the yes. last one in 2017 and like yes. some oh. g shit yeah that is that, you got real balls just yeah, staring exactly. straight into the solar eclipse <laughs> yeah. like you thought putin was up there he's like okay <laughs> <that guy." laughs> hey guys it sure is a good thing that black adam 2 is canceled because we never would have had the rock at wrestlemania 40 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's also a good thing that movie was canceled because the first one was just fucking bad. Sucked, yeah. yeah, I refuse to watch it. It, it looked yeah. awful. And I heard that he was kind of a jerk about it. Like, yeah. Like, he went full Black Adam. <laughs> he went full Black Adam. They brought in James Gunn and the other dude, and yeah. they were like, hey, no. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, we have a no asshole policy. No this Black. What I... <laughs> he RKO'd the producer. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it was a star-studded weekend. The Rock, John Cena, The Undertaker. Everyone was in attendance, uh, but surprisingly, Vince McMahon wasn't there. I hope this guy's okay, you know? I don't know. Uh, you know, he's getting up there. I was surprised that Vince wasn't coming out to a WrestleMania event, you know? Yeah. It is a bit surprising, but after all the allegations, I don't think he gets many places now anyway. Yeah, so I was going to say, yeah. I, I don't know if his ankle per- monitor allows him to go to stadiums. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, you're probably right. He has to be at least 500 feet away from any female. Yeah. No. There were children in the crowd at WrestleMania. Of course, he yeah, couldn't right, be yeah. there. They couldn't, with that mustache, they're like, he's not coming in. <laughs> yeah. But the big winner of the weekend was Cody Rhodes. Hey, I think the Whites really have a future in this sport. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Rhodes sounds like a porn star. <laughs> yeah, he looks like one, too. He does. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he had an OnlyFans page. He'll get there eventually. 
once the WWE money runs out. Yeah. Did you guys uh, watch the WrestleMania? Do you guys uh, no? I saw a lot of clips. Yeah. Do you guys care about wrestling? No. Uh, I like <laughs> AEW more than WWE. Okay. It's like their competitor one. Isn't there something about that's like getting shut down or something? Or it doesn't make as much money, okay. so it probably won't last forever. Yeah. It's the WNBA of yeah. You can't really okay. compete with <laughs> WWE. Yeah. Yeah, it was the event of the century. It was the 40th WrestleMania. That I all I know is that it was in Philadelphia. I I don't know. I don't know anything about wrestling. Hey, they yeah. know all about. Uh, fighting people in i was gonna say <laughs> philadelphia is a very white blue collar yes, city so yes. they love wrestling over there i'm sure yeah yeah, sure. yeah. baseball football and wrestling mm -hmm. we're always angry in philadelphia yeah yeah it's true oh i forgot they had like a wrestling episode yeah the show. that's right they did yeah. and yes. i there's a philly podcast i listen to and one of the guys on it is like obsessed with wwe mm -hmm. to the point where it's like weird so mm -hmm. i think it is very much a philly thing yeah yeah yeah, it makes sense. Philly's finest. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with that topic. <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> our guests would have more knowledge than me on this subject, but it's okay. You know, Joseph, front of the show. How, how did you feel about front, it? I didn't care. I don't know. <laughs> I only researched it so I could have three jokes about it. <laughs> I know that the there was the kid I show speed. You know, him, oh, yeah, the I'm black a, streamer yeah. kid. He was at WWE. Did he win? No, he got RKO'd by Randy Orton. I mean, if you're going to get RKO'd he came by out, someone. He came out in a prime bottle. He was, like, oh, wearing man. a prime bottle, and Randy Orton RKO'd him. I saw Spe that. Speaking of that, uh, the Jake Paul. Uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's coming up in oh, July. Yeah. Now, now, that is going to – I might I might tune in for that. You might. You, there's, yeah. I'm sure there's <laughs> plenty of websites you can get it for free and avoid oh, I'm, the, the pay-per-view. I, so, I yeah. would never pay for it, yeah. but yeah. It, it'll be entertaining. Absolutely. See, yeah. You either get to see – uh, a young white boy beat up an old black man, <laughs> or you see a crazy old man beat the shit out of an annoying, an annoying YouTuber. Yeah. So I, I think either, either way, way. Yeah, either, it's hilarious. It's, we, it's just like Alien vs Predator. Yeah, we all win. Yeah. I mean, they kill yeah, each other, exactly. we all win. Yeah, that's an ideal sport. Cat Williams already got beat up by a thirteen-year-old white kid, so I think it's Mike Tyson's <laughs> time to shine. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> you guys, you know, uh, this this Morgan Wallen thing, they got me thinking that. Do you guys have any favorite celebrity uh, arrested stories? Like celebrity meltdown moments? Yeah. Ooh. I love the Bieber DUI when he was like 19, like uh -huh. before he could legally drink. He uh -huh. got a DUI in his Lamborghini. Nice. Do you remember that? No. I, that, that took a lot of balls. <laughs> Just driving under the influence? As a 19-year-old in like oh, yeah, a $350,000 car. Yeah. But if anyone's going to get away with it, it's the Biebs. Exactly. You know, what's he up to nowadays? Is he still? I haven't heard anything. He yeah. still makes music. Is he like married to someone? To Alec Baldwin's niece. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was his daughter. Maybe. So, or it's he better the, watch one out. One of the Baldwin it's boys. one of the Baldwin boys' daughters. Daughter. And I don't think it's Alec's daughter. He better watch out at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Out for them loaded guns. Yeah. Um, you really <laughs> liked that one, didn't you? <laughs> Don't let Alec open the gun safe at the yeah. holiday parties. It's like Justin, I just gotta show you this. You're like it's Trust a really me, it's nice really piece, sick. man. What? What? One of my, I have actually two quick funny things involving the same guy, uh, uh -huh. former Tiger Miguel Cabrera. Oh. The first time he got uh, arrested for. I don't know if he actually got arrested. But he got in trouble for drinking and being disorderly. Happened right up the street here at the Townsend in uh, okay. Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't give away our location. <laughs> We're shooting sorry, this sorry, in the Townsend. <laughs> yeah. It could happen downstairs. It's like yeah. the basement of the Alamo. Yeah. No, anyway, different movie. Uh -huh. uh, so he got super drunk and was just berating this kid, and and he he was saying, "Hey," to to the kid's parents, "Hey." Uh, your boy, he's a little chubby. He, he's put on a little bit of weight. And it's like, why would this extremely famous baseball player say something like that to a little kid? A little boy, yeah. when, when Miguel himself, is, he's not a skinny he's a dude. Boy. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he, yeah. he's a little tuna can, a little chode boy. You know? Yeah. And uh, so the police were called, and one of the managers had to come get him. And then a couple years later, he was driving down in... 
Can you just come a bit closer? Yeah. This way? Yeah, yeah. This That's way? good. All right. Yeah. Sorry. A couple, <laughs> couple years later, he was driving down outside of Miami and got pulled over because he was speeding in his, um, I'm sure it was a Lamborghini or whatever. Mm. And uh, I think the way the story what unfolded was that uh, he opened up the car and several, not just one, several empty bottles of Jack, uh, you know, just oh, just yeah. just fell out of the car. That's like cartoonishly, mm. like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and he was yelling to the cop, "Don't you know who I am?" And it's and I'm like, dude, come on, you gotta know when to stop, yeah. man. But anyway, I. Since then, I think he's he's, he's cleaned been, up. I think yeah. he's cleaned he's up. Boy. I yeah. think he finally learned that hey, these uh, tens of millions of dollars could be taken away pretty quick if you keep act, acting like it. That's a lesson to all you <laughs> baseball players. All you baseball this. players out there making the millions that yeah. watch this show because baseball players so. don't need to be in as good of shape as other athletes no. so they can be alcoholics and yeah be bad. you can look exactly like uh, baseball baseball players and golfers or, are the only ones who can drink on the job this yeah. is true and look at and babe ruth <laughs> he was a porker and but he was one of the best players of all time yeah. most guys most good mlb players nowadays are a little overweight yeah david ortiz he was a toy boy be. what's miguel cabrera's favorite inning bottom of the fifth <laughs> Uh, Sorry, folks. I'll, I'll take it. I don't get it. Fifth of liquor. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mr. Stand Up Comedian oh, over here doesn't goodness. get the joke. Oh, my goodness. I thought you were going to say in and out. Oh, he's fat. Yeah, there you go. That's oh, a good yeah, one, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that would <laughs> make a little more sense if he was from California and yeah, not Florida, true. but I'll yeah. give it to you. Okay, more like five guys. He loves eating <laughs> five guys. Am I right? <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> Michigan husband. Yeah, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Riley loves five guys. <laughs> five guys, burgers, and lies because I told my wife I was just on a camping trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you really are married? No, no, no. no okay. No. Oh, no. Okay. Like, honey, I'm going to five guys. I suck, suck. <laughs> my favorite is the story of Charles Barkley uh, throwing a guy out a window. Um, this was a, a number of years ago when he was a, I, I don't know. Still I, playing? Yeah, when he was still playing. Oh, that was a while ago. He got into a fight with a guy at a bar, threw him out a window. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I've never heard of that, but I'm going to look it up. Yeah. That's awesome. Shout out you, Chuck. We got to get him on the show. Yeah, Chuck. Another awesome Charles Barkley thing is he despises the city of San Antonio and yeah, loves big to make woman. fun of the women in yeah. San Antonio <laughs> being fat for yeah. whatever reason. There's like a 10 minute long YouTube comp of him making fun of San Antonio women. It's like, Chuck, I don't know if you looked in the mirror. Seriously. <laughs> it's what's something that's very specific yeah. and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> what's it with all these, these athletes? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you guys have anything else on this topic? Morgan Wallen, do you guys care about him? You're I, I like his music. Yeah. I said on last week's episode, he's uncancelable. I didn't know who he was <laughs> until you brought him up on the P Boys podcast. He can't be canceled. Episode. Yeah. He's said the N word so many times. He threw a chair didn't off a bar. Did he do SNL like the week after he got in trouble for saying the N word? Yeah. yeah. He that's, can't be canceled. That's yeah. right. insane. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, thought, I thought they would have pulled him, but uh, they let him go through. That Lauren Michaels, he sure knows how to do something. <laughs> it took Shane three years, and they gave yeah, Morgan Wallen six days. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, hey, you know, I saw something interesting in the news today, uh, uh, three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> on the news Monday. On the news on Monday. Uh, it said that J. Cole said he regrets dissing Kendrick Lamar in a recent rap song. I saw that. Yeah, do you guys, uh, you think he was right? I don't think I think he was wrong to come out and say he regrets dissing somebody. Like if yeah. you're gonna release you're a gonna diss track, a don't double hardcore back. Hardcore rapper, it. you gotta fucking stand by yeah, that shit. Yeah, don't double back on it. Kendrick's yeah. not gonna double back on it no. and say he regrets it. No. Stand mm. on business, man. Yeah. Mm. I don't know who J Cole is. I oh no, I've heard of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, uh, not not a big rap guy, but uh, I'm sure whatever happened. Uh, I'm sure they'll all be friends again. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, sure probably. they'll, they'll I'm all I'm sure make it's up. all a publicity yeah. stunt, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a Kendrick J. Cole joint album in like six months. Yeah. <laughs> and the cover is going to be them shaking hands. Yeah. 
<laughs> shaking hands, handshaking dicks. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna loop their yep. hands through their zippers. And, yep. Yeah. They're gonna be Eiffel Tower and Kanye and high fiving oh, in the yeah, middle. Kanye. Yeah. Talk about an Eiffel Tower, you know. In Paris. Fucking, yeah. Them boys in Paris. <laughs> yeah. Kanye's a big fan of Paris. Yes. Him and Jay Z both. He's a big fan of Germany too. Let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> He's gotta make a new song. <laughs> What would it be called, Riley? What? If he made a song about Germany, what would it be called? I don't know. Have I, do I have a joke about that? No, but I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to get you to say the end. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, his friends in Munich. Yeah. <laughs> My pals from Munich. Yeah. Uh, Auschwitz 2.0. Boys in Brazil. The boys from Brazil. <laughs> That'd be a good Kanye song. <laughs> Oh man! Have you seen that movie? I would love it if Brazil, boy, the boys from Brazil. No, I'm not no, seen. I've seen Brazil. Oh, there's a yeah, movie the about it. Terry Gilliam movie. Hell yeah! One. The boy from Brazil is about like a kid who was like he finds out he's a clone of Hitler. Yeah. Really? Um, he lives in Brazil. He lives in Brazil. Yeah. They should have made it Argentina. Uh, <laughs> that would have made a lot more thing. sense. Same thing. No, who's in it? Someone uh, famous is in it. Uh, yeah. Like Christopher Lee or like one of those like old timey actors. Oh, okay. Like Peter O'Toole or someone like that. So this was made several decades ago, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because he might have to have been young. No, he played like Joseph Mengele or something. Oh, like that. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. When you were saying boys of Brazil, I, I thought <laughs> I thought you were thought you meant City of God. Have you seen that? Oh, City of yeah, God is good. It yeah, takes place yeah. in, in Brazil. I'm like, yeah. is Joseph getting these? Uh, no, names not enough Hitler up? in that movie. So, <laughs> not, not enough. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> not enough. Not at all. So. <laughs> Could always use a little extra Hitler. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, Kendrick Lamar, he was too mean to J. Cole, if you ask me. I didn't listen to his song, but I just I assumed that he was being too mean if Kendrick Lamar uh is chickening out of their rap beef <laughs> my take on it was that kendrick is a bitch because he thinks he's can there can only be one greatest rapper yeah and j cole was cool about it because he was like no nah, we can all be the best rappers he's, yeah he got he drew and share the crown he grew out his dreadlocks and he thought that he was fucking uh what's his name um the jamaican guy Bob Marley. Bob Marley, yeah. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> One of, like, probably the 20 most famous musicians of all time. Yeah. What's his name again? <laughs> oh, good question. Yeah, J. Cole thinks he's him. He's trying to do the piece and whatever. Fun uh, fact, J. Cole played professional basketball in Africa. Really? Yeah. Cool. Cool. I was going to say, Jacol sounds like a African word. So. <laughs> Jacol? <laughs> It's a cool. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a West African uh, yeah. uh, beans and rice dish. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. We eat it with naan. Yeah, yeah. naan from India. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just wish these rat beefs would go back to like how they were in the nineties. <laughs> people shooting, shooting each other. Shooting each other. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The world Biggie and more Tupac and yeah. Good yeah. night. Yeah. Getting, getting, getting Kendrick food. is gonna. <laughs> Send some shooters after J. Cole and Drake. Do you think Drake has shooters? <laughs> no, not a chance. Yeah. He might. Drake's son probably has more shooters yeah, than he probably. does. <laughs> Drake's son is probably a shooter. <laughs> probably. Um, okay, yeah, this is fucking this crazy world. <laughs> Southwest Airlines. They're fucking. They're going to shit. Uh, the the cover of the engine of one of their planes flew off. And someone exposed them by taking a video of it. Do you guys trust the airline industry? Um, from everything we, we, we you've been hearing in the news from Boeing the last, I don't know how many months. Yeah. No, yeah. no, absolutely not. No, they they but just if we're going to be serious for one second, they've been putting uh, profit over people and saying I, I say fuck them. They're they're they're. <laughs> Yeah, take that, Boeing. take that. Yeah, but no, they're enemy of the show. All Boeing, the Boeing reps yeah. watching right they're, now. They're suck it. They're finally getting their come comeuppance uh, with everything that that's happening and much deserved bad publicity because they have not been uh, investing in uh, safety and and it's showing. 
Yeah. yeah. To be fair, people aren't going to stop using Boeing <laughs> Airlines, so I don't think that's uh, right. Yeah, and it's like they, that's why it's like yeah, they can't really yeah, you know. And plus, they're a, a big defense contractor, and then yeah. you know those always be making ba money. bastards run the world, and yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we should all just take the Greyhound everywhere. Yeah, just walk and take a Greyhound. Greyhound, Amtrak, like, mm -hmm. Magic Carpet. <laughs> start carpooling, guys. Yeah, start carpooling. Save gas, fuck Boeing. Guys, take a carpool. Next time you want to go to Hong Kong, just fucking carpool. Just there. drive across the Pacific Ocean. Guys, Boat next time pool. you want to go to Bali, <laughs> just be a stowaway on a fucking freighter. Yeah. Next time you want to go to Jakol in West yeah. Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. And you get attacked by Captain Phillips pirates. <laughs> For stealing non. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, next time you want to go visit Drake in Canada. <laughs> Hit up the six. Yeah. Just take the tunnel. You know, there's a, there's a new bridge. Someone told me that the other day. They're building a new bridge to Canada. From Detroit? Yeah. No, I didn't. You guys we... did not know. It's been... In the works for like five years now. I'm like 22. I'm kind so of like retarded. When, they, put it, so when, they, when yeah. they announced it, I was like in high school, and it didn't matter. It's to me. it's the Gordie Howe Bridge, and it'll be done. They're naming it after Gordie Howe. That's so sick. Yeah, look it up. The look city up. needs more things named after sports. And people. no, it, the architecture, like it's gonna it's gonna look phenomenal. It really is. Can't wait to Are cross gonna... that bridge when we get there. <sighs> And we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. Uh, are they going to like delegate all the uh, 16 wheelers onto the ambassador bridge so I, that I, it's like only for I, personal use? I think it's going to be the opposite. I, I don't think they're going to allow trucks to use the ambassador bridge anymore. Which, either way, fine. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I mean, I mean, I don't, I, I can't say that, but it would make the most sense because. The Ambassador Bridge isn't like directly connected to the, I think it's called the 401, the highway on the Windsor side that goes all the way oh, to okay. Toronto. And once you get off that bridge, you got to make your way through the city to get on the 401. This new bridge is connected directly to I-75 on our side and 401 on their side. So, that'll be so the it's, it's going to be seamless for everybody hell yeah and they're gonna allow it so that you can like walk across yeah Whoa. you just you know Whoa. you just gotta have your passport and your pa yeah the real id or whatever enhanced license or whatever it is so that's gonna be really cool that's what we say yeah they're yeah. just gonna have like a sniper station in like the middle of the yeah bridge, just like the, waiting for yeah. someone to like run don't by. screw yeah. up guys don't screw yeah. up oh, we're up man. here in the crow's nest you can always just swim there too that's true uh, yeah, once the, the once the bridge is built, are they just gonna blow up the tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna drown everybody in the tunnel, <laughs> like the the Bane Tunnel in Dark yeah, Knight Rises. Right. Yeah, that's right. They trap all the cops in there. Yeah. yeah, They're gonna trap the entire Detroit Police Department in the Detroit. River. Yeah, hopefully Bane doesn't fucking try and take yeah. over Detroit by the time Bane. that bridge is built. You know, he's still out there somewhere. He's doing. Bad yeah, shit. probably. Yeah, he's in a hole somewhere in the desert. <laughs> he was born in the darkness. I was born in it. You merely acclimated to it. Yeah. <laughs> My mother's womb was dark. I remember it. <laughs> My whole life has been darkness. I was raised in a black neighborhood. <laughs> That's what he said when, he, when he's um, going down on uh, what's her name, uh, Miranda Tate. He's uh, he's comes up from under the curtain or under the blanket he was like i was born in the darkness I was raised in that neighborhood yeah. yeah um guys we have a new segment on the show yes. called uh i ran out of topics so we got to improvise for five minutes <laughs> oh that's a really fun segment yeah yeah um I, normally i would just fill the time with my segment bad jokes but neither of you are comedians so I imagine all of your jokes are bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Trying to think news. The NFL draft is in Detroit this year. That's going to be a big That's deal. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's a lot be, of money. Well, it's a couple weeks away. Yeah. A lot of money coming in. Yeah, very that. soon. Very yeah. soon. I think it's two weeks from this upcoming weekend. So tomorrow. Two weeks from tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow's Friday. Exactly, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I they, they who are you guys picking in the draft? Uh, Tom Brady for sure. Yeah, he's coming back. So pick. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be drafting him for yeah. sure. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Yep. Great guy. Um, OJ. Really Simpson. intelligent guy. Yeah. OJ. OJ. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Terry Bradshaw. Ray Rice. Ray, Ray Rice. Rice. All the ones who've been in very serious legal trouble. I'm Michael throwing Vick. my roster out with those yeah. guys. Yeah. Don't 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 show your Chihuahua around him. Nope. No. No. Nope. You'll eat him. <laughs> yeah. I'll take Henry Ruggs too. Henry Rollins. I'll just throw him in there. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, what's his name? The guy from I think you should leave. Who's Tim Robinson? Tim yeah. Robinson. Yeah. He's... Friend of the sh- friend of Andrew's show. So real quick, his three of his nephews played that show I was telling you about. Yeah, they're musicians. Hell yeah. So they had, they, they they're brothers and they had a little band and that's uh, really dude, cool. It was it was awesome. So got got a little uh, inside connection. Yeah, there. there you go. I think you should stay. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so it is bad jokes time. Yeah, it is. okay. I had to get one right there. Yeah, um, I mean that's is that okay? But yeah, he's. I think he's going to be at the draft. He's like promoting it all over his Instagram and stuff. And nice. So he'll we'll see you there, Tim. It. Oh yeah, because he's a huge lion. Huge. Fan, yeah. I tried to get him on the show, but his representatives haven't gotten back to me. So well, <laughs> yeah, him and uh, uh, Sam, Sam Richardson. Richardson. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're always. Yeah. When they're in town, they're around. They're around. They're around town, boys. That's you guys right. have seen Detroiters, right? Of course. I've seen no. some of it. Uh, young man. Okay. That, that, it was a that, sitcom they had a few years back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Two seasons, two, uh, I think 10, up, 10 episodes. And it each. was Sam Richardson and Tim Robinson? Yeah, dude. It, 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 was, it's, it was one of those things. It was, it was too good for Comedy Central. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course. Everything's was, too good for Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah. Workaholics was too good for Comedy yeah. Central. Right. Chappelle's and a, show was too good. <laughs> yeah. But it's on uh, Peacock or something now. Where, I'll find you know, it. Peacock yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, excellent. And it's all shot around here. 100% oh, okay. shot in That's Detroit. That's awesome. Yep. And you can Highly. find that for free on hoglovers.net. Hoglovers, right. yeah. You can watch it on Paradiso Films on YouTube. We have the whole season. We have the rights. Yeah, we, we bought actually, the rights. We bought the show. We bought the rights from Tim Robinson. Uh, and we are producing it now. In attempts to get him on the podcast, we bought the rights. We bought the show. rights because now he kind of owes us. We paid you know? way too much money for the yeah. rights to this show. Yeah, from Peacock. I did the last thing I wanted to do. I supported NBC. <laughs> Uh, Andrew, do you have anything you want to promote? Uh, just my, I guess, YouTube channel. I, I, I don't put a whole lot of stuff on there, but uh, a couple funny things. And uh, yeah. Like, like uh, I talked about before, and I've had you on before my, right. my show, uh, Motor City Mirth, that I record Sometimes. Ir- irregularly. Yeah. Uh, but I try to do it once a month um, at the... The local Lake Orion uh, public public access place is called Orion Neighborhood Neighborhood Television, and try to support those dudes. And I also have a twice a month podcast that I do with two other people called Hollywood Blockbusters, and we yeah we just talk about whatever Stuff, yeah man. yeah whatever film topics are. Or hot at the moment. Uh, we had a really cool uh, Oscars episode a couple weeks back after Look the Oscars. That. that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to promote right now. Look at that. <laughs> Rise, do you have anything you want to promote? Uh, subscribe to our Patreon. The page. Subscribe yeah. to the Paradiso page. Patreon. Yep. That's right. You guys um, have a Patreon. That's nice. If you live in Michigan and need custom garments, t shirts, hats, sweatpants, Armadillo Printwear in Berkeley. There you go. Go armadillo.com. Tell them I sent you. Might get a little hookup. Look at nice, that. Nice, nice. Yes. If you live in Michigan and you want a blowjob, <laughs> call go me. Go to Armadillo Printwear. Directly. <laughs> if you want to get if you want to get married to a Michigan husband. To a Michigan husband. I am looking for an arranged marriage right now. That's going to be my next shout out. There you so. go. No, the single fun. single Indian fun. women, give us a call. Yes. Patreon and the print shop. Yep. Good. And uh, 
we'll see you next time on the Joseph Show. Big peace. Big peace. <laughs>